Welcome to another what I eat in a week for dinners video where I take you along on my journey throughout the week and what I can scrounge up for dinners. It's typically what it is. <laughs> I love these videos so I really enjoy making them as well as watching them. You can just kind of chill out. Maybe you'll get some inspiration or maybe not. You can never be too sure. Of course, if I have any sort of recipe or inspiration, I'll link it down below. Um, but if not, enjoy. What a day. It's Monday. I had some things to do after work. And so really, I just got home. All I want to do is eat something and go lay down. Today, I wanted to make a sandwich. I've been thinking about this thing for the past couple days and I'm just tickled. I'm very excited. It's going to be my play on my favorite Italian. And if you are not from Maine, an Italian is like a grinder, kind of, or a sub, or you know, something like that along those lines, but it's just different in Maine. So I have a little roll here, and we're gonna go to town. And this is just um, like a white sub roll, I think it was just labeled as, so nothing too fancy, but get some bread that you like. My favorite Italian, is a Genoa American cheese, extra pickles, salt, pepper, oil. But today I'm feeling like I want mayonnaise on this. I might still put a little bit of oil on there, but that's usually what I get. Perfect every time. If you ever come to Maine and you're like, wow, I want an Italian, I'm gonna tell you right now, don't go to Amato's. Unless you like sour pickles. I don't like them, so the whole sandwich is ruined for me. If you do come, go to George's in Biddeford. The most perfect sandwich you'll ever have. Genoa salami. The most perfect of meats. I'm gonna pop this in here. American cheese. Lots of pickles. And then I'm just going to repeat and sandwich the rest of it in between the cheese and the salami. And it has to be Genoa or Genoa, however you say it. I say Genoa. A little bit of olive oil, just a touch. Salt and pepper. And then we close. If you can get it closed. Oh, that's a sandwich. It looks very simple. It is very simple, but it is so good. As some of you may know, my dad has a garden and I like to rummage through it like the groundhog that I am. But this time, he actually gave me a little present and he made pickles. So he grows cucumbers. They are literally the best tasting cucumbers you will ever have. Ooh, they smell good. They're dill. Gotta have a pickle with my sandwich. Ghost, what are you doing? You play? And some chips. Ideally, my favorite chip to have with an Italian is the Humpty Dumpty brand barbecue. Ooh. They kind of make me sweat a little bit, but they're really good. There's dinner. My very own Italian. Some chips and a pickle. It's perfect. I have been dying to try this, so that's what I'm going to do first. Oh my goodness. The jar is alive. Mmm. Delicious. It knew that I ate one of its insides. Also, what I like to do is take the chips and put them in the sandwich. Beyond. If you don't do that, you should try. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys, I can't plan this any better. My mom just dropped me off an Italian from George's. I have to show it to you since now I have the real thing. Always nice and wrapped in wax paper. G for Genoa. Oh, man. I am telling you, there is nothing better than this sandwich. The bread is what makes it, I think. But there it is. My favorite Italian. Genoa cheese, extra pickles, salt, pepper, oil. I want some chicken. I was prepping some chicken Caesar salad stuff for the week for my lunches. Of course, I made too much Caesar dressing because that's what I do. One of my favorite ways to use the extra dressing besides salad is to make Caesar chicken. I'm gonna roast some carrots and I think I'm gonna make some crispy potatoes. Sheet pan, tin foil, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. I did bang these out thin so that they were easier to work with. These are chicken breasts. I know 
I hate working with chicken breast, but it really works with this. And plus if I overcook it, the dressing on top helps it to stay a little more moist. So I just did my thing with these and then on goes my Caesar dressing. I love making Caesar dressing. All it is, is it's a mayo base. And then I just add lemon juice, uh, let's see, salt, pepper, anchovy paste, some olive oil, lots of Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, and just blitz it up and it is perfection. So that goes on here, a nice healthy layer. Also some Parmesan cheese. Extra cheese can't hurt. My oven is preheating to 375. I'm gonna pop these in the oven. I'll check them at like 25-ish mm, like minutes since they are so thin, but you just wanna cook your chicken until it is 165 internal temperature. Now for my veggies. Sheet pan, lime with tin foil, carrots. My oven is preheating to 460 Fahrenheit, which is mostly for my potatoes. I'm gonna throw these in there with my potatoes, but I have to watch these more carefully because they will burn by the time the potatoes are done. So it's kind of like a, you have to pay attention. <laughs> Salt, some pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. What also would be good on here is some of that Parmesan cheese, but I'm not feeling it today. So this is going to be my carrots. I really don't have a time where I like to put these in there. Usually I roast them at like 400 degrees for eh, maybe 15 minutes or so. I just cook them until I like the way they look. So you do the same. Now for my crispy potatoes. Another sheet tray, tin foil, olive oil. What I do is take little baby gulls, boil them until they are fork tender, pop them on here. And all I do is take like a cup or a glass, something with a flat bottom, boil it up a little bit and just kind of give them a good smush. These are seriously the only potatoes I will eat other than like a french fry. Cause I'm not a huge potato girly, but if they are like thin and crispy, I'm there. On goes some more olive oil. These need to get crispy after all. And I just season them up however I like. Lots of seasoning though, because these are potatoes, they need it. I do salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Then I'm gonna throw these into my 460 preheated oven. And these I keep in there for a little while. I really like them to crisp up. So just cook them until you like the way they look. Again, just don't burn anything. There is dinner. Oh, look at this chicken, this crust that has formed. Unbelievable. These potatoes, I am so excited to eat these. And of course, the ever beautiful carrots. Perfect, no notes. This potato. Perfectly cooked. Way to use up extra dressing that you made because you can't control yourself. We'll see you tomorrow. I didn't take anything out of the freezer tonight, so I'm thinking something simple. I think I want some breakfast for dinner. I'm not a huge sweet breakfast person, but I can dabble from time to time. But most of the time I want something savory, some sort of breakfast meat, some toast, eggs, right up my alley. Maybe an omelet. I'm gonna see where this takes me, but that's what's happening for dinner tonight. When you have breakfast for dinner, what is your favorite kind of go-to? Is it sweet, like pancake waffly, or is it savory, like a scramble of some sort? What is it? I love these little pre-made sausage patties that you can just like buy in the frozen section. They cook up lovely. My bread ready to go. I'm gonna throw this in the pan. This is just some butter, salt, pepper. Toast it up. Ooh, it's gonna be perfect. getting there. Time for the eggs. I'm a strong believer in butter for eggs. I don't understand the oil thing. I think it grosses me out, but do your thing. Just a couple eggs in here, scrambled up. I have my pan on very low. I am like a low and slow person when it comes to my eggs. I'm just gonna let it start to form its little crust around the edges. 
And then what I like to do is just pull it, tip it, pull and tip. I'm horrible at making omelets. My dad is the omelet king, but uh, I do what I have to do and it works just fine. <laughs> what I really not want to do is flip this cause it'll just get everywhere. So like, that's why I'm trying to pull and tip the pan. But if you're good at flipping omelets and eggs, you go for it. When it's just about there, make sure everything's all loosey goosey. Go on American cheese. And then I just cut up my little sausages and I'm gonna pop them in here. Pop with some more cheese. Okay, I want to fold this over. This is where it all falls apart. Oh, it's cause you guys are watching me, I swear. That never happens. <laughs> I'm going cream cheese. One of my favorite things in the world is an everything bagel with cream cheese, but I don't have any right now. So I'm gonna take my toast, slather it with some cream cheese. I barely have any left of my everything bagel seasoning, which I also really like to make homemade. It's super easy. It's just dried onion, dried garlic, poppy seeds, salt. What else is in here? Sesame seeds? You can really make it with whatever you want. And then my omelet. Hate me all you want, but I do enjoy some ketchup on my eggs. What I really like to do is put the omelet on the toast and then you stop. I'll see you tomorrow something else I felt like I absolutely needed was a cucumber from the garden. Just some salt and that's it. My dad likes to give me the bigger ones because he doesn't like the seeds when they're in the big ones like this. So I don't mind them. There is nothing like a cucumber fresh from the garden. Today is like dark and gloomy and a little cooler. So I want soup very badly. So I'm gonna dig around in my fridge. I'm really hoping that I have at least the basics. Um, I guess we'll see. Well, I guess if you're watching this, I made soup. I'm going to pop my onions in first and cook them down a little bit so they don't take up as much room in my pan. <laughs> I just have some olive oil and butter in here. This is good, but now I wanna put in my celery and my carrots. All of my soups start like this. This is my holy trinity, mirepoix. And get these going just for a couple minutes to soften everything. In goes my chicken, a little bit of flour, and I'm gonna cook that out for just a couple of minutes. This will really help thicken up the soup, which I love a thick soup. Who was it? Uh, Rachel Ray, she used to always talk about the stoops. So like thicker than a soup, but thinner than a stew. But you wanna make sure you cook out that flour because you don't want any of that gross taste in there. And for my broth, I am using my trusty broth from the freezer that I had made a few videos ago and stocked away. Still kind of frozen. <laughs> but this stuff is delicious. It is so concentrated, so the flavor is really there, meaning I don't have to let this cook for so long because all that flavor is already in that broth so really I'm just going to bring everything up to a nice boil and I do I think want to put a little bit of pasta in here this has been going for a bit the veggies are where I want them and I think last thing I need is to add some pasta I found these little Staline or Stellini I love little baby pasta in these things. They're like little stars, little pastina almost. So I'm gonna put some of these in here, cook them until they're done, and then dinner is served. Remember though, to stir your soup when you add pasta or rice so it doesn't stick to the bottom and burn. I've been there before and it is not pleasant. So just keep an eye on things. I can already feel them sticking to the bottom. This is going to hit exactly how I need it to. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so good. Mm, what is your favorite kind of soup? I must know because it's finally getting closer to soup season. So I want to make sure I make a lot of it. Let me know. 
I'll see you tomorrow. I actually don't know what I'm doing tonight for dinner. I am going to a, an event at a little bookstore and I'm so excited. I'm going with one of my best friends, so we're gonna find something to eat up there. I don't know what's gonna be. It's a surprise to all of us. These are just the things that do it for me. I'm horrible. It's been a few days since I've last checked in. Let me just give you the rundown, I guess. I did not get any footage of what I ate. One of my best friends and I went up to a town mid coast called Belfast to go to an event at a bookstore, which was so much fun. We went to Grump and Sunshine. It's a romance bookstore. It was like a book bedazzling event and we got to pick uh, the book that we wanted out of the certain selection and of course I went with Book Lovers by Emily Henry and it's not even doing this justice one of my favorite books of all time but we got to just bedazzle them and look how fun we were looking for some food up there and there's a restaurant right next door the street is small town USA Hallmark movie it was just the cutest thing and we went next door to eat I had some egg rolls. I think my friend had some dumplings and french fries. It was a rather eclectic menu. I'll pop in any footage that I have. Sorry. I'll be better next time. But that was my week. I hope you enjoyed, got some inspiration, and just kind of had a fun time with it. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>